What's going on guys? So it's first time I guess recording in ultra high def in 60 frames so I'm not going to be doing any painting and I took off my case that's why. So this case affects a lot of the quality so there's no point in recording in ultra uh, whenever I'm painting. So today's video I am going to just go ahead and mix some of the urethane based paints that I have. Uh, if you guys saw the last two videos, I was just mixing up some paints, just making a custom color. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just uh, whatever I have left, just mix it all. Instead of keep on just wasting it on uh, test panels, just spraying and spraying. Just going to go ahead and mix it all. And whatever color comes out, that's the color that I'm going to, you know, paint my Mitsubishi. Uh, I've been deciding on uh, painting on my Mitsubishi for a while. You know, the last paint job that I did was a Rust-Oleum paint. It's an oil based, so I'm gonna mix this today. But I need to order a gallon of sealer, and I'm gonna choose maybe like a white or something that way I can, uh, you know, just uh, spray some coats of sealer and then I'll do the urethane, urethane base and you know, some uh, urethane clear. So today, let me just go ahead and just flip the camera and we'll go ahead and start mixing up some colors that I already have here. All right, so here are some of the colors, you know, from the last video. I have the Galaxy Silver, this is a base coat. And it does have some type of flake or pearl in it. It's not pearl, but it's like the silver one. Um, the Victory Red. Red doesn't have anything. It's just red. And then this is a shadow blue. Uh, I think, I don't know if that's the paint code LD5Q. But it's a shadow blue from, let's say, a Volkswagen Jetta. So, you know, I have that one. And this over here is called a Watermelon Red. This, I had painted a Can-Am Spider with this one. I haven't stirred it or anything. So right here, I noticed that it still has, well, it's red, but it has silver flake in it. There you go. So it's silver. So that's what settled at the very, very bottom. Now, the Galaxy Silver, if I would have shown you guys, uh, that's everything that settled at the very bottom, except it was a, a lot, like a lot. So I had mixed it and, you know, like added a little bit of reducer and mixed it, stirred it and everything. So today, let me go ahead and open up these cans and then we'll start mixing. Galaxy Silver. So like I said, guys, just whatever comes out, that's what I'm going to use. Um, so... Here's a Galaxy Silver, just untouched for today. Let me see if I mix. I can't feel anything on the bottom, like settled. Oh, there you go, there's, there's a bit right there. But once I added everything in here, we'll just go ahead and mix it. So this, um, about two inches. So it's about, should be a, at least a quart of the silver. Last time I painted the Mitsubishi with the Rustoleum paint, uh, for the whole body, I used two quarts of the, you know, the color. And then since my hood, roof, is black, I used one quart of that. And I didn't use everything. Here, I'll say less than a quart, but it's just Victory Red. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it in here. I don't know if this is going to be a lot or not, but instead of adding that one, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. This is the Watermelon Red Metallic. So it's red with a silver metallic in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in there. Whatever color comes out, guys. And I'll go ahead and add some reducer and get everything out of here in a minute. So. See what comes out right here. Like that's already a nice, nice color. Let me show you guys. This right here is already coming out like a nice color. So this is just um, well, I did add some some victory red, but check this color out. This is just like a the pink. If I wouldn't have added the blue on the last video, see this? You can see some purple, and I love this right here. Now if you take it out into the sun, it, it almost does this color shift. When the sun hits it, 
it, you can see like the the brightness it's it's so uh brilliant on the silver and then like in the shade you can see the color so very very nice color right here so i think some of that pearl came from this shadow blue so i'm gonna go ahead and open it that's just like less than half a quart it might be like a pint so i'm gonna go ahead and open that that way it adds some of the pearl in there some of the purple once all these colors are mixed in the reducer will stir it in nice here we go i'm gonna start with that just just to check it gets dirty. Blue is very powering, overpowering. So, still looking good. That's just a very, very little bit. All the metallics settle down over here. So this is the best part of all. Still nothing too, too crazy. Still a nice color. So, I'm go ahead and add all of it. I'll get just a little bit of a reducer. Add this in. Yes. Look at that. So you can tell how it cleaned out the can real good. So we're getting all the metallics, all the pearls, everything it had. Transferring over here. Now let's stir it. Very nice. It's almost like that same color right there. So let me go ahead and just uh, clean these out just a little bit more with a little bit of reducer. Get all that metallic out in there Look at that some of the best parts right there this is what makes your car or your paint shine all the metallic if you want this to look you know, darker in the shade you want some pearl which is coming from the shadow blue so we're just using these three colors right here well four I guess that's the galaxy silver victory red we'll call it but it's victory red too. I don't know if I'm gonna add all of the victory red, but it's the shadow blue, galaxy silver, and watermelon, just because of the metallic. And I do wanna add several coats. Some of the metallics and all that stuff here, but it's kind of purple. So just give me a second while I just clean out these other cans with reducer, pour it back in there, and then we'll we'll check. All right, guys. So check it out. The watermelon red and the shadow blue emptied them out right here on the galaxy silver so check this out it's just full of full of metallic full of color pearl and all that so very beautiful color now this one i hope you guys can see that it, it is more purple than whatever other color there was so it's just uh still some you know the metallic that settled in in the cans from either the silver or the red you know it still goes to the bottom when you stir it you can still see as if uh some particles or that's that's all the metallic 
but it gets captured on some of the wood grains like uh, right here but the color is more purple than the last you see all that darker darker purple at some of the pearl how it color shifts between the brilliant silver metallic and the pearl of the shadow blue so once everything is sprayed and laid down evenly and very very uniform you know we should get something similar to this and this was a color that I was very happy with you know it's still in the pink purple and it's still very brilliant like I said taking this uh, fender out into the Sun you can see the you know as the Sun hits it directly it is so brilliant and then as the shade or something towards the top um, let me just zoom out um, as you know the body you know curves into shade or something you'll see it darker like for instance right here it'll come out as a brilliant you know and then once it curves right here the pearl makes it a shadow and it's darker but then right here in this area since it's aiming towards the light you will see it again just brilliant and then uh, once again over here to the purple so it's, there's very like right there you see there's very like this is a very beautiful color you know like and it does feel like it does this color shift as you walk through it you know even right here you'll see more of the color and less of the brilliance as you're passing through it, it looks brilliant. Brilliant meaning, you know, it's a silver that's popping out. It's all the reflection, all the brightness, it's just coming out. And then once you go away from the light, you see back the color, which is just uh, reflecting at a certain angle. So, very beautiful. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the color. And as for quantity, uh, this is about a bit more than half a gallon and uh, this is enough for my Mitsubishi uh, for the black parts meaning the hood the roof and the wing now for those I do have other colors that I am going to use I do have the black crystal diamond which is let me go ahead and open this one the black crystal diamonds is black and it has some pearls in there so also a very beautiful color if anything should be painted in black I always like you know black crystal diamond because it's of the pearls but let me go ahead and open this and show you guys all right so here it is let me start to flash there you go so you guys see how it has some metallic pearl in there pearl has different colors not just a silver one so speaking of silver I also have well, I have that almost full quart of the Black Crystal Diamond. I have this one, which is at least another quart of that Black Crystal Diamond. But I also have this other black, and this is just black metallic. So this is like a GM or Cadillac uh, late model color. It is black meat. It's a kettle effect. So it's black with metallic. So on this one I have, let's just say another almost of half gallon plus a quart of black crystal diamond. I could also just combine all these black colors right here and make a beautiful color, black. Black, very metallic-y, very pearl. And that's another color, but I don't wanna paint my car in black. I want something like this in color, you know? So this is going to be our body. And then for the hood, roof, and spoiler, that's going to be that color. Well, not this one exactly. It's going to be black crystal diamond because this is just a beautiful color. I like this one and that other color we created. Last color we called it a pearl rose, a pale rose. So it might be a better option, pearl rose, uh, because of the pearl from the shadow blue and uh, just a uh, pink, purplish. So we'll probably call it just pearl rose <laughs> so that's our color we're gonna spray guys um, I just need to order some sealer that way we can spray over the rust-oleum oil-based paint and I'll talk more about you know what has been done to the car before like the paint and what we're using but once we're ready to, to use it guys in the meantime leave me some comments guys is this color you, you thought um, is this the color you thought would come out I mean I showed you guys in the last video the fender so I personally like it. My prefer like my preference is purple. I like purple. 
I also like pink. My car is pink at the moment, you know? Nothing about it, it's just beautiful colors. So that's all, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys uh, like it, enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see the paint job. So that's it, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in my next video, so peace out.